Good day everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Jane from JaneLiberated.com. I hope all of you are having a fantastic day. We are in 2020. What an exciting year. I believe you have taken a moment to appreciate God for allowing you to see another year, for allowing you to be alive to testify the goodness of His grace and mercy upon your life. Today I am so excited because when I woke up this morning after the celebration of uh, the, the crossover to the new year, I decided to still be on my bed so early this morning just doing some reflection and meditating on how and what I achieved in the year 2019. And I remember just lying down on the floor in my room and I decided to appreciate God and thank Him for everything He has done and everything is about to do this new year. Have you taken time to appreciate God for His goodness upon your life? Have you taken moments to meditate or reflect on how far you have gone in 2019 and how far you are willing to go for this 2020? If you have not taken time to do it, take a moment, pause this video, meditate, reflect, thank God and show the spirit of gratitude for all he has done for you. You know why I am so passionate about this? A lot of people started 2019 with us, but never get to the end of 2019. We are whole and healthy. We are alive today. I am standing in front of you, like for example, talking to you right now. Not because I deserve it. Not because I am too holy. Not because I am too precious or perfect. But because of the love and kindness of the Almighty God upon my life and upon your life. That is why we are able to cross over 2019 and cross over to 2020, believing and hoping for hoping on God that he will be our director. And definitely, as far as he alone is the author and the finisher of our faith, why do we have to worry? Well, that brings us to the topic of today, and that is plan ahead. I decided to put some things down so that I can really pinpoint the important things to be discussed in this topic or in this video today. One, most of the times we waste our time and resources. And as I begin my journey, I began to understand why wastage of time and resources is one of the crucial points that need to be pinpointed and dealt with before we can achieve our goals. For example, if you see that you have planned for 2019 and your goals or your targets or your achievements were not really what you expected them to be like, then this 2020, you will like or you will want to take a proper look at your plans on how you planned your 2019 that did not work out fully for you and thereby making some little correction and planning well for the 2020 and one I put on some points I said if you really want to get rid of wastage of time of resources anything at all that has to that that is fond of limiting you in achieving your goal you have to be serious about it. Is there a situation in your life that you really need to deal with? Is there a situation or incident that happens in your life that when you look back at that situation, it weighs you down? It doesn't allow you to focus on your future. It doesn't allow you to concentrate on the real things that will really make you to achieve your success. Then that would be the number one thing to target and that would be the number one thing to eliminate from your life so that you will not have another wasteful year or you will not have the opportunity to achieve your goals in this 2020. Number two is anything that can also cause wastage is planlessness. Planlessness. Why am I stressing this word? Because most of times we don't plan for our lives. We don't plan our things or what we want to achieve. Most of times we wake up 
I am a living testimony to that. I never knew anything as planning until I begin to research online and I got to be listening to motivational speeches and I listen to, to audio tapes, positive ones. I meditate on the word of God and I develop the habits of giving myself a challenge that if I wake up in the morning, before I do anything, I have to meditate. And it was due to what I have come to realize this year's past that I decided to set plans for myself. And ever since I begin to set this plan, it has been working like miracle in my life. So the life of planlessness can really hinder you and hinder everything you want to do in life. In the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 to 3, you can see in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God has a plan. God has already visualized himself to create the heavens and the earth. And when he has already visualized it, he made a plan, he visualized it, and then he spread out the plans into days. And that is why when you read the book of Genesis, you will see how God created the heavens and the earth. And when he created one the first day, he created another in the second day. He created another in the third day, in the fourth, in the fifth, in the sixth. And when he decided to rest, he took a day off to rest. That is how we should plan our life, our business. Anything that we need or want to do in life, we need to have the spirit of planning. Because anything that has to do with planlessness, it leads to wastage of time. I hope that just sink in. Plan your life. And when you carry out these plans, you will see that things that you are doing will begin to fall into place. And there is a popular saying that say, if you fail to plan, you will plan to fail. Meaning, if you fail to draw out your plans on what to achieve, definitely there will be nothing to achieve because you don't have a plan and definitely you will fail because there are no goals being set or uh, points being set that you will follow to achieve those plans. So, a quick recap. In the beginning, I said, one, if there is any in-depth situation that is confronting you and you are so scared to confront or deal with, deal with it first. As you step into this new year, 2020, 1st of January, deal with anything that is confronting you. Deal with anything that is standing as a stumbling block before you. Do away with it. It can be your mindset. It can be you inviting negative thoughts in your heart. It can be you be angry at someone. Do away with it first before you can really plan your life. And in the other way, if you look at it at the other way, when there is no plan in your life, you can't function well. And if you begin to plan your life, you will begin to see light. You will begin to see that things are being open. Things are becoming so clear to you. And that is illumination. When there is light in your life, you begin to see that everything that looks so cloudy, everything that looks so scary, they will begin to unravel themselves. And by so doing, you will begin to see that your plans will be falling into places. That is how to live your life. Like in Genesis, in the word of God, when God created heaven and earth, he said the earth was without form and void. And when God decided to separate the heavens and the earth, and he said, let there be light. Why did he say let there be light? Because after he created the heavens and the earth, the heavens and the earth or the earth was without void. There was darkness that clouded the face of the earth. And when God noticed that, he said, wow, the end, there is need to be light so that everywhere will be bright. And by so doing, I will be able to see clearly. I will be able to see clearly and continue with the plans I have. Take a moment, reflect on those words. If you are confronted with situation 
it can be a dark moment in your life. It can be the loss of a loved one. It can be the death of your parents. It can even be a divorce. It can be you being a single mother and you cloud yourself up that there is no uh, way of coming out of that situation. It can hinder you and you might fail to have a successful planning for what you want to achieve in life. But when God created the heavens and the earth, there was darkness upon the face of the earth and God called for light and when there was light there was illumination and he began to see clearly and create the things that are needed to be created for you for me to live in this beautiful planet the other thing we have to look at is setting your goals a no setting goals can really destroy everything you want to do in life. Take for example, are you planning to write a book? Are you planning to be a life coach? Are you planning to become a minister of the gospel? Are you also planning to be a singer? Name it. Or are you planning to change your life from that 9 to 5 hours you are doing as a job or from that 9 to 5 hours you are doing as a work are you planning to start your online business that can allow you to enjoy your freedom to spend time with your family with your loved ones and to do things that you are really passionate about then you will really need to use this point of setting your goal because when you don't set your goal when you don't set your targets there is nothing to achieve. I will also refer you back to the Bible right now. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. But God has already set his goals on how to achieve his, uh, his work, his success. And before he started launching them out. Set your goals. If you are planning to become a singer, look for what will really help you to become a good singer. If you are planning to write a book, go online. These days, there are a lot of things online that you can really research and that will definitely help you to set your goals, to set your points and get to work. Don't allow this new year, this 2020 go by without you making plans for your life. And never allow the year 2020 be, be a waste of year for you. Get rid of those things that takes your time, that waste your resources, and that waste your energy. Get rid of it. Plan ahead. Grab the opportunity you have right now in front of you. It is still very young. It is 1st of January, and there are more days to come. But how you start your day will determine how you end your day. Let me see. And I will have to like to bring you to the last point I really put down. And that is the problem many people are having today or facing in their online business, in their marriages, in their home, even in bringing up their kids, investing in themselves and all that. It's really not, not sitting down to take plans of what they want to achieve or what they want to do. I would like to conclude this by saying, if you are willing to start an online business, work out, teach, sing, write a book. In conclusion, what you really need to achieve these goals are, number one, the ability to reduce wastage of resources, especially time, is confront your situation get rid of every negative situations around you you can't help it might comes but develop the mindset that will help you eliminate it totally and you begin to see those negative things or negative aspects of your life or negative things that have happened or situations that has really happened in your life you can begin to see them as a lesson to be able to teach others to elevate others, to help others to be liberated from their past situation. Confront that situation. Get rid of that negative thoughts. Number two, never allow your time to be wasted without you making a plan. Plan ahead. 
Take time. Write things down. Work with it. And run with the achievements you are willing to achieve. The other one is light. When there is light in your life, for example, just take for example, I am in my working room right now. When I put out this light, I will be in the dark. I will not be able to see you. I will not be able to even read the book in front of me. But if there is light, there is illumination, and you begin to see clearly and begin to correct things. So we need light to be able to make plans. We need light to be able to achieve our goals and success in life. Another thing is, after there is light in your life, you will be so free to be able to set your goals and your targets. And by so doing, when you put all these points together and believing that you will succeed, and definitely with the help of the Almighty God, because He is the author and the finisher of our faith, we will definitely succeed in life. I hope I have added value to your life. If you really need to know what I do or you really need to start anything and you are confused, you don't know how to start, check the link below. Put down your name, your email address on my website and definitely I will get back to you. And please don't forget to subscribe, hit on the notification bell and I love your comments. Do leave your comments concerning this topic and what you think can be added to be able to achieve our goals in life. Stay blessed. Have a fantastic day. God bless you. Bye.